Hey guys, uh, today, it's that time of the day again, year, whatever. The Kai Monos shoe review. Uh, this is one of my favorite shoe brands of all time, the Kai. Right here. Uh, this is the 2010 model, of course, because Mo went to DC. So, um, it kind of sucks. I wish they could have made more Monos, but whatever. So, uh, so, first of all, here, right here, if you pull it out. Just a little, uh, I don't know what to call this, but it has Mike Mo right there doing a little bonus thing, which is a famous baseball player, so it's kind of cool. Uh, this is the purple and black colorway. I know there's like red and yellow or something like that. Like it's red on the bottom, it's like purple. I don't know if you can see that when you turn on this light right here. Purple. Uh, as you can see, well, this, I'm regular, this is my right shoe, so uh, it's not going to be the best of uh, tearing, but let me get the left shoe. So, uh, it comes with the purple model, of course, it comes with purple laces. Now, uh, I've had these shoes for a couple months, maybe two, three months. There's no tears at all, like, on anywhere, and I've learned to flip kick flips. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just push down them. There's no tears at all. I mean, yeah, there's a little blue on a black from, of course, flicking. That it will, it will tear eventually. But no, it doesn't even, it looks brand new. These shoes look brand new. What happened though, I wore the left one for the longest time since I broke my throat. Or the right one. So the right ones will be cleaner, except they're not. <laughs> Yeah, so it's suede all around, and it has a really, really thick tongue, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. Right here, it's really thick, so if the board just happens to land on your toe, it's not gonna hurt at all, which I really like. It's vulcanized, too, so uh, it's another good thing. The Kai on the back. Uh, I actually unboxed these, so if you wanna see that, go check out my other videos, or I'll just put a link in the description. Um... Yeah, I, I personally like Mike Moe as a skater, uh, just because his style and he goofs around a lot and like that. I've been watching Moe knows, uh his part in Flirt a lot this past like week. <laughs> That's been my non-stop skating video for a while. And uh, yeah, it's kind of sad that he went to DC, but I'm happy for him too. And uh, I even talked to him on Facebook for a little bit. <laughs> cool for him to reply. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of them. So I just had to buy the shoe. I got these for really cheap. I didn't get them from a skate shop or anything. I got them from uh, this website called 6pm.com. And uh, what that is, it's a website like based off on China. Not like in China, not on China. Like some crap. In China. So it's shipped in three days. And I live in uh, Central. And it took three days, and shipping was free, and this cost $24.99. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. You can usually get these for about $55, and I got them for $24, so $25. So, knowing that you can save $30 bucks from getting a product from China, like, such as the Spec Candy Shell, which I'm using on the film right now, um, you can get those at for $10 bucks at, like, Amazon or 6 p.m., so... I recommend going to that website. I'll put a link in the description also for those and the uh, unboxing piece. It's a good amount of good unboxing. But um, overall, these are great shoes. I really think you should invest in them even if they're not on 6 p.m., even if you just buy them from Skate Shop. Really good shoes and they're really durable. They're going to last for a long time, guys. And uh, the Kai is my favorite brand, so it's pretty much, pretty much sums this whole review up. Um, if you like this content, subscribe if you want. Uh, doesn't really matter to me. I'm not that big. Of course, I would like to be. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm filming with an iPhone 4. And as you can see, it's a great camera. Even with this little lamp. But, yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed filming with a, uh, yeah, iPhone 4 with on a spec candy shell flip. Which is actually mounted on the speaker right here and uh
know if you guys can see this or not, but it's a little foot case, so you can, no, you probably can't see that, but on the back, I'll even slide it out just for you guys. Yeah, this is my hold up. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, right here, you can make it so it flips and it can be a little stand, so that's really cool. I got this for $35, so, uh, I recommend you get this, and, uh, that's pretty much the review, as I said. Hope you enjoyed. Go on by these shoes. Thanks, guys, and have a nice day.